okay, when guys. it comes to diamonds. Speaking of marriage, one of our viewers wrote us with a very interesting relationship question. Dearly, dearly, I what don't know what you do about my partner just I mean, no, What have... would you suggest? The social suggests. So Sasha from Calgary writes, my boyfriend and I are talking about marriage, but there's a catch. He says that he wants me to propose to him privately first. Since he's been married before, he says he felt like he did all the work. If I pop the question first, he believes that that will prove my commitment to the relationship and our future. So ladies, what advice do we have to give to Sasha? Oh, Sasha. I mean, at first I was kind of like, oh, well, this is exciting. This feels like a quality in the in the making. But the thing about the proving that he wants you to prove, that tweaks me out a little bit. But I'm going to forget about that for a moment, but I think you should do a deep dive on it. But if I was to just say objectively, assuming you guys both love each other, I mean, why not? One of the things I regret the most of when I was single is that I didn't take matters into my own hands more. How many, like, I, I think in my single life, I asked out one person on a date. I left all of the responsibility in the, in the other people's hands. So, I mean, like, how many people did you guys ever ask out when you were single? But, but the, like, difference is, that? the difference is this guy's telling her what to do. It wasn't like she decided, you know what? I'm going to propose to him because that is a move of empowerment. There's a difference. But is Yeah, I think you're making a good point actually here. Yeah. But don't you feel like this is a funny game that everyone plays all around? I almost find this refreshing that he has sort of put himself out there to Sasha and, and giving, leaving himself in sort of a vulnerable position. Like, why shouldn't he have that feeling of being the one, the chosen one? I feel like generally it's if, if I'm going to stereotype, it's it's women being the one like, when's he going to ask me? When's he going to ask me? And he's like, I want you to ask me. Is that so wrong? Is that being vulnerable? I think it's being bossy. I think vulnerable is when you <laughs> don't know what the answer is going to be and you put yourself out there. That's what often proposals are like, unless you're like, yeah, we know we're going to get married eventually. But the vulnerability to me is being like, here's my heart in my hand. I want you to be mine forever. That's about as vulnerable. I think that's why they get down on one knee. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's real vulnerable to just put your heart out there because there could be a no <laughs> on the other I side. Don't know, I don't know. Why don't more women too. do it? I also see vulnerability here. Yeah. I mean, I see vulnerability. And Wendy all, on Facebook also seems to see vulnerability. Uh, Wendy says, I'd say, sure, but I have my own stipulation. We're going to couples counseling to work on your trust issues from your previous relationship. Ooh, and wow. I guess that's what Wendy read, too, as did I. I read that this person was coming forward with his insecurity. I mean, didn't word it very well, like proved to me. But I think what he was articulating is I'm quite insecure. I've been hurt. I, you know, I'm coming out of a bad marriage. I'm carrying a lot of rawness, pain, um, obviously unresolved issues. So this is what I need from you. I kind of would rather that mm -hmm. than... What we've seen in the past where men don't talk about their insecurities, they don't show their lack of confidence in certain situations. This could be the start of something good where if two people are, are especially a man, is in articulating his insecurity and putting it out there, it may be a recipe I, I for some open I don't think he's going about it the right way. I just, I mean, I agree with you, Lainey. I absolutely agree with you. I just don't know that he's going about it the right way. If they're already at the point of almost getting engaged, what it tells me is you need premarital therapy before you're even thinking about the actual engagement because there's clearly, as you said, a lot of unresolved issues. And Ryan and I did, you know, the Catholic marriage courses, which a lot of people might roll their eyes at. But we dealt with a lot of issues before we actually walked down the aisle, which I think this couple oh. might need. Yeah, but here's I think an imperfect just go out person buy, doing buy things rings. imperfectly. Buy, like, buy, when buy do we ever get the right issue? Him. What's that? Five rings? I said, I think she should just go buy five rings and present them to him. <laughs> That's all. Sorry, I was just trying to wrap it up quickly. That's all. <laughs>